Hey everybody, this is Brad from Johnson Small Engines, better known as the One Handed Mechanic. If I can do it, you can too. Today we have here a John Deere S170 with a 48 inch edge mower deck, and I'm going to show you how to take the mower deck off. And since everybody asked about putting it back on, I'm also going to show you how to put it back on. First thing we want to do is if you can do this on asphalt or concrete, definitely recommend it. You want to put the mower deck all the way in down position. I would definitely recommend, but this one, it has an electric PTO, which is a switch to turn the PTO on. Put the emergency brake on so the mower doesn't move on you. So we're just going to put the emergency brake on. We're going to put the mower deck all the way in the furthest down position. And there's a couple of tools we're going to need. I have here a pry bar, a pair of new moose pliers, and a 15 millimeter wrench. Uh, they recommend um, you can put these up on blocks, the mower deck. I just, uh, I read up on it a little bit. I'm just going to keep doing it the way I do it. I think it's a little bit, uh, it's better to do it my way because you won't have to worry about your, getting your fingers pinched. But they recommend getting the weight off of it by put, picking up your mower deck and putting a block of wood underneath it, which is fine if you want to do that. But I'm going to show you how to do it my way. Now, first thing you want to do is we have to get under here and take the mower deck belt off. The mower deck belt is right here. Now this is what they call an electric PTO. So this, this is the electric clutch right here. So there's always spring tension on the belt. It may not seem like a lot, but that spring tension has to get off. So what we're gonna do to get the spring tension off is there's a couple different ways we can do this. I'm gonna use a 15 millimeter wrench on the top of this nut right here. And we're gonna pull this pulley forward. That's why I said put the brake on because if you pull the pulley forward, the tractor's gonna to wanna to try to roll forward. And then we're gonna roll the mower deck belt off the front of the pulley. Everybody tells me, oh yeah, you can just roll off the front of the pulley. Well, you can, but you gotta watch your fingers. You get pinched right here. So we're gonna go ahead and put the wrench on the nut here. It's a 15 millimeter nut. I'm putting my body in front of the front of the wheel just so I can keep this mower from moving. And then I'm pulling this forward as far as it'll go. And you can, it'll actually stop. Okay, now I have to hold it with my one arm here. I'm gonna hold it taut. Now this is very loose now. This should just drop right off the front of your pulley, just like that. Now just be careful. This is very spring loaded. You wanna make sure that you pull it, you know, just let it go back nice and easy. Just like that, very easy. Now you wanna see, We're gonna since we're up here at the front, yeah, there's a lot of tension right here. Now this is what they were talking about putting the deck up on blocks. But what I'm gonna tell you to do is just one, take your, this is a butterfly clip. Take this clip off first. Now this one's a little bit stuck because this rod is actually pushing that way. So this is making it tough for this. So what I'm gonna do is push this, thing, yank it forward. That actually gets that little, so now it's loose, okay? So I just pulled this rod towards me and that actually got this loose off the motor deck. I'm gonna try to pull this off again here. All right, so that's off. They got a washer. Now it's very tight. The front end of this is very tight, which means that we have to alleviate some of this tension. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take my pry bar and I'm gonna put it underneath the front of the mower deck without, have, without having to get my fingers in there. I'm just gonna pull up on it a little bit and this should just pop out, just like that. All right, then you just pull it out from underneath there and you're done. All right, now this is hanging. Now, if you're not gonna put the mower deck back on again, I would definitely recommend taking this off the front if you're driving it around because as you can see, it hangs down and there's a good chance you can jackknife it and bend this really bad. So you wanna make sure you take that out. If you're not gonna have the deck back on, we're gonna leave it there because we're gonna put the deck back on. Now we're gonna go back to the middle hanger right here. Pull the pin out like that. Get a washer. And then we'll drop, this should just drop down like so. Going back to the back. Now just remember how this is. This loop goes, the loop actually goes facing the rear. So you wanna make sure you put it on that way. And, and there's a quick easy way of getting these pins out. You turn this pin sideways, like that. And then you pull it up and it comes right out. Take the washer off. Again, if this is tight, which this is not, but if it's tight, then you put your pry bar in the back of the mower and you pull up on it a little bit, it'll come off. 90 degrees like that, pull it out. And I recommend, putting an R or an L on these because this is a deck height adjustment and you just wanna make sure you put them back where you got them from. You can get them easily confused. If you put an R and L on it right and left, then it won't mess you up. We're gonna go around the other side and take the other side off. Okay, so on the right side, we're gonna pull this pin out right here. Might be a little bit hard for you to see. And then I'm just gonna put my thumb over it while I'm taking this rod off. The washer will fall into my hand. Take the rod down, go to the back. Turn this guy sideways, pull it up, and washer. 
and this should just come out. Now this one's tight, so I'm just gonna lift up on the back with the pry bar. So I'm gonna put a pry bar back here, lift up a little bit, it'll be nice and loose. Turn 90 degrees, comes right out. Just like a little eyelet here. And just like a, just like so, just like that. All right, now we should be able to just pull this right on out, slide it out. So that's pretty much how you take it off. And we're going to go ahead and put this right back in. Now, if you hang out with me until the end of the video, I'm going to show you something about this uh, oil filter on the S170 that I'm not, I don't like. It's the quick change oil filter. I'm going to show you that in a second. But let's go ahead and put this back on. So you just try to center it out. Now we're going to do just the opposite. I always, I always like to put the front rod on first. It's just a habit of mine to do. Okay, so there's two holes here, the upper hole and lower hole. Now you can always tell by the wear mark where you're supposed to put the rod. So you got to put the rod back in that hole right here. Put your washer on. And I know you can't see the hole on this side, but you can, you can get the drift. So you can put the bow tie clip back in here. Now I'll come back over there. A little motor hanger right here. And you gotta be careful too, because up here, there's a rod coming out of the frame here. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, probably not. And there's one up front, I don't know what that, that's a bolt, I think. Just gotta make sure you put the rod in place. And you might have to manipulate the mower deck around a little bit. And went right on. And when you put these pins in, face the pins rearward. So if you we do 95% of our driving is forward. It doesn't feel like it's lining up. Ninety-five percent of our driving is forward, so if you put the pin in rearward, then it'll tend to go in if you hit something. Whereas if you're going in reverse very much, I mean you don't go in reverse very often, so if you hit it that way, it'll pop out. So we're always going forward. Just put it in like this, and it'll stay in. And if it gets popped in, it'll go forward and not fall out. And you come back to the back again. Ninety degrees up. And make sure that your your U shape is facing the rear. Now again, I cannot put this on the top here. So what I'm going to do? I'm going to hold off for one second here. I'm going to put the pry bar underneath and lift up on the mower deck, and then this will go right on, real easy. And we got the washer like so, and then the clip. Kind of hard for me to see this. Not really good light. The bracket. All right, it's on. Other side. Okay, so I'm gonna put the arm up in the center here. And again, it's not lined up properly, so I'm gonna push back a little bit on the mower deck. Just a little bit more until we get lined up. There it is. Put your washer on. Put your pin facing rearward. And then we have the rear hanger here. Time to do these on. Okay, so this one needs to be pick up the deck a little bit too. This one didn't need much. I know it didn't need much. Put your washer on. And then your pin. All right. Now you put the belt back on. Now, when you put your belt back on, you really must make sure that your belt are traveling correctly around all your pulleys. Under this cover here, it's a little tricky to see. You're going to have to make sure that the inner, the belt is on the inner pulley. If you have to, take this off. But you're also going to notice that when you put the belt on, you're going to have a lot of tension here. And what I'm going to do is relieve the tension by using our wrench again. But you just want to eyeball everything out. Don't turn the mower deck on until you're comfortably sure that you have all the belts running around the pulleys. So you're gonna go ahead and put your wrench, 15 millimeter on the top nut, that pulley, pull forward all the way until it stops. And then you're just gonna slowly put the belt on the front, nice and easy, slowly let go of your belt tension. And that should be it right there. Always check to make sure everything is right. This is when you should adjust your tire pressure and level the mower deck out. Now what I was saying about the oil filter, 
on this engine. I'm gonna show you right here. This is what they call the Easy Change Oil Filler. It came on this S170. This is a twin cylinder Briggs motor. This was sitting down here. If you have one of these filters, this is a $50 filter. It only has about a quart of oil, maybe three quarters of a quart of oil in it. And when you change this out, you're only changing out this much oil. That engine takes two quarts of oil. So I would recommend, I'm gonna put it in the link in the description below, how to get rid of this and go back to a normal oil filter and a normal drain system on this to get rid of this expensive oil filter and be able to change 100% of your oil. This is pretty much it for the video. I do appreciate everybody watching. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Please give it the thumbs up and I'll catch you guys on the next one.